Hey everybody, welcome back to Aria Story. So it's been a couple of days since I got a chance to sit down and play this. E3 was going on, and I was also a little busy with work. I wasn't really much in the mood for a horror game, but we're back. I think I'm in the right mindset. I really want to play more of this. Now before we do any more stuff here, uh, we, need, we should check out that other puzzle back there that I didn't solve. I did get... You're yeah, right, I got a card for beating the area of riddles that people gave me shit for not realizing the candle answer right away. I'm sure this is the first time you've seen a carousel on the right, remember. I just wanted to see narrator Chan because she's actually adorable. Remember, your horror games are better when they have cute girls in them. That's the little game design advice I've got for you guys. Alright, so... I'm assuming I need to follow the arrows on these things. What happens if I interact with one? A doll. Where's the starting point, though? Inside one of these dolls hides an object, and each one of these have a sign with a direction where that very doll hides. I wonder where that doll could be. I spent all day thinking and still can't figure it out. There are two types of dolls, orange and purple, but you don't have to trust them all. In fact, one of those types of dolls likes to lie. Okay, so some of them are liars. Some of them are truth tellers. Do you think there's a doll with a hidden object? Sure. Ouch, that hurt. 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 Is there an actual punishment? There's a card on the floor. Ace of diamonds, a doll. Okay, well I know which one it is. Okay. Is something bad gonna happen to me? Because honestly, I know which one it is. So I, that may have an effect on the ending. So I'm just gonna hit the right one right away. Because I'm a cheating bastard. So that means the orange ones are telling the truth, clearly. You found the card? You're very smart. How did you solve it? I just guessed until I got it right. It's a little... She seems horrified. Honestly, they should have had some punishment for that. I thought if I got it, like, wrong three times, it'd kill me, but... Okay. I might as well make an extra save. Still not really sure if... what has an effect. Uh, tap your total saves if they affect anything or if that's just a default thing in the engine because I know some games show that Let's see. I guess I'm missing just one more ace or maybe there's more cards There's a secret passage inside of this room. Do you think you're capable of finding it? Well, I like to believe I'm one smart cookie There are many comedy books All Right, we're still in the comedy chapter aren't we? Where is, where is what, where is anything? Here's the question though, can I find the, oh, okay, there it is. Found it. Do you wanna read this book? <sighs> okay. There's a card in one of the pages. I don't think I wanna to get too close to it. Why not? Uh, wait, what? The door is locked. Oh, I see. I couldn't even have gone into here if I wanted. I'm sure this first time you see the carousel. Well, I've got four cards, but what can I do with them now? Ooh. 
let's take a look up around here. Wait. I've read some of these books. They're very funny. I like to read them when I'm sad. They always make me feel better. Any comedy books on the shelf? Any comedy books on the shelf? Oh, okay, she has the first time interaction thing. Uh, what about here then? Wait, the curtains have the suits on them. Drawings of a clock and card suits. I wonder if it means something. Clearly it means I'm supposed to find a clock Door is locked. I need to find... A, do I have to put a card on each carousel, maybe? Seems I could probably put something small and rectangular on top of this this horse, uh, carousel's horse. Which one? What... How do they look different? I don't see any symbols on them. Place the Ace of Hearts and the car- wait a second, what does it look like here? Goes- okay, they're in a- they're in a straight line, not enough formation like a square, so... Wait, what do these mean? Many comedy books. Comedy books. These don't me seem to tell me anything. Just lots of laughs to be had. Alright. Yes, I'll put them in any, in whatever order they are in my, in ouch, that hurts. I guess this card doesn't go here. Okay. Ace of spades. Ace of diamonds. Oh, cool. I only got it wrong once. I don't think that means anything. Does it? Guess something opened. Narrator Chan is gone. This must be the second chapter. Chapter two, Fairy Tales. So, toy soldier with its leg missing. He has a toy gun with him. He has a toy gun. That's cool. Good for him. Hello? An owl? There's something in its beak. Is this for me? You've received an, inv an invitation. To what? Hogwarts? Thank you. I'm sure I can't be the only person that's made that joke. Sure. You are formally invited to the party on the third floor. We look forward to meeting you. All right. Well, new area, new time to explore. I saved twice. Don't know if that'll bite me in the ass or not. Small teddy bear. Okay, so this area is new, got distinct music. Let's see if, check out its visual style to it. There's a bowl of soup on the table. It seems too cold. Seems too hot. It seems delicious. Do you want to drink it? Yes. What could go wrong? There's a tulip inside the vase. Dang it. I can't check these beds. Am I, I thought I was gonna have to check the bed that's just right. Goldilocks and Three Bears, written by Robert Southey. Goldilocks, and, yeah, there's a lot of that copy of book around, apparently. So I guess I don't need to... Are the bears gonna come home and kill me? You know, I really have to admire the, the these bears' is, um... Dedication to being bears. They have a bear-shaped table, a, a bear a bear wardrobe, bear shelf. You know, we humans do the same thing. You know, we have cabinets just shaped like humans, all fleshy and shit. Doorknob is gone. Oh, there's something written on the door. If Goldilocks had been more careful, the blank would have never found her. Uh oh. The bears got me. Goddamn bears. Well, let's try again. 
Bowl of soup seems too hot. So cold. Don't drink, so I don't check it. The doorknob is gone. If I'd be more careful, the bear the blank would have never found her. Okay, I guess if I walk up, boom, the bear's got me. Okay. Maybe I need a different item for this area. That's also a possibility. Small teddy bear. Everything just loves to kill me. Pretty and elegant doll. Remember, if you're a little girl in a horror game, you are gonna have a nightmarish time. You are gonna die. I need that tulip, but I can't get the tulip right now, so we're gonna look around elsewhere. Food looks delicious, but it's fake. That's probably why they put that, ugh, that right there at the beginning, so I know I need to get something first. A large mansion toy set. What does it mean? I don't think I have any items. I have the invitation. Food looks delicious, but it's fake. I can't read what's on there. Can't read what's there. Doesn't seem like I can do anything here. Those dolls were coming at me. Now they're not coming at me. There's a book called The Four Fairies. Once upon a time, there were four sisters who were born under a curse. For nine months of the year, they would be in a deep sleep and they could only wake up during the remaining three months. Tulip, a friendly and sweet fairy, woke up at the beginning of spring and slept when it was over. The most cheerful, cheerful fairy, Sunflower, only woke up during the hot summer. Aster, calm and kind, opened her eyes when autumn came. Snowdrop, the most reserved and serious of the four sisters, woke up during the cold winter. The years passed and they died without ever knowing each other. Well, that's sad. All the four fairies. Wait, hang on, I need to check something right quick. Is my, did I shut something? Okay, this is really awkward. Okay, I did. Okay. I thought I was making sure my door is shut. I don't know if you got. I doubt you guys can hear them, but my brother has friends over at the moment, so I doubt. I, every time I say that, you, the mic never picks it up, and no one ever complains, so it should be fine. If anything, I'm. I'm. Ugh, who cares? Narrator Chan. She wanted to escape from the mysterious library, but it was not an easy task. Did you know that many fairy tales deal with dark subjects? I find them very interesting. Sorry, I do not wish to distract you with idle conversation. I'm sure you are busy. What is wrong? Can I ask you something? Of course. Is this the first time you've narrated what happens to someone? Mm hmm? Are you waiting for an answer? I said you could ask, but I never said I would answer. Yeah, you're gonna be that you're gonna be that bitch, aren't you? Hmm, that's unfair. The silence disappointed her. Instead, she decided to continue exploring. Okay. You just won't move out of the way, won't you? Oh, that's cute. She doesn't turn like turn to face me. She just like turns her head. That's a nice little touch. I like that. No, I like fairy tales. I like I like how they can be dark. A silly monkey toy. I love dark shit, in case you all didn't know. I'm a sucker for it. The monkey clapped! That is neat. Neat and a half. What's in here? The door is locked. And that's a book? Do you want to play with me? Play. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. I used paper. That means you win. When I play with other books, it's always a draw. I'd like to win someday. I don't think that the, that's the most appropriate game for a book. 
I guess you're right. Let's play again on another occasion. I'll think of a different game. Okay. Uh... What did that mean? Did that do anything? It's not. These were the first books I read when I was little. My love for books started thanks for them. Thanks to them. Blah, fairy tales on the shelf. Fairy tales, fairy tales. I wonder, if I go in here, can I immediately leave? It seems that I can. Challenge the book again. Let's play again. What is the purpose to beating him? I can go in here. There's a note on the floor. Why not? You obtained a note. Read. Quill glasses bookmark. Okay. Ribbon magnifying glass ink. They're in the color of the rainbow. Just remember Roy G. Biv. The order of the first letter of the colors. Have you come here to play a game? What can we play? Chess? Maybe musical chairs. Sorry, I didn't come to play. Let's play hide and seek. Are you listening to me? I'm going to hide in a place in this room and you have to find me, all right? No, you're cruel. Yeah, sure, let's play. Close your eyes, I'm gonna hide. 14 seconds? Uh. That space is blank. Where do I look for him? Guess I'm gonna lose. You weren't able to find me. I guess my hiding place. Thank you for playing Ari. It was fun. What? I'm lost. I want to go home. No. Thank you. My name is Dolly. Dolly has joined your party. That's cool. Thank you for... But I didn't find him. <sighs> Dang it. Is this going to be... I'm locked on like a bad ending now, aren't I? I know where to take a doll. It's over here, right? I should have saved because I know something bad's going to happen. He'd probably go, like, right here or something. The mansion. This is my house. Thank you. Take this. Tree key. Ooh. Thank you. Just gonna walk out of here. There could be no troubles. Cool. I really hope we don't have to do none of this true ending bullcrap where I have to start from the beginning. I have to, like, count the number of steps I take in a certain chapter. Otherwise, I'm, I'm getting to the bad ending. The silence disappointed her. Can you just... The silence disappointed her. Can you just... You're adorable, but really, no. Door is locked. Use tricky. The door is made of wood, therefore a tree key would work. Oh, it takes this. Well, we got different seasons. Door is locked. There's an aster in the vase. Leave it. Vase is... Oh, I need to bring the tool up here. I understand. Vase is empty. Well, that one would make sense to be empty, but I don't have anything. Writing quill, glasses, bookmark, ribbon, magnifying glass, ink. I should arrange those fl What? I don't have them all, though. I guess they're in the wrong order, but... Put the sunflower in summer. I should arrange those flowers. Phase is empty. Tree with orange leaves, tree without leaves. Is this an autumn flower? Something happened. A note has appeared on the door. Help the others. It's kind of what I want to do. Make another save because something is going to kill me. Paranoia activates. There's a chair there. Move the chair. Mm. 
another quill. I guess I can go in here, but did I want to do that? I think I should make another save because I enough time has passed. A cute teddy bear. Teddy bears are cute. We go left, right, or middle, or up. Third floor is where I'm supposed to go, isn't it? I should keep looking. Maybe I'll find some way out of here. Oh, that would be too easy, wouldn't it, little Aria? Right is always right. Let's go this way. These books are children bo children's books, but I still like reading them. I think age doesn't matter. Everyone has the right to enjoy the books they like. Well, that's a feel-good, happy quote to have right now. There's a fella there. Isn't that the fella that said he was going to kill me? Do you like books? Did I scare you? Sorry, I didn't mean to. You were so focused reading a book that you didn't notice me coming in. I thought I was the only one trapped in this place. Seeing someone else here makes me feel relieved. Ha, ah, but that doesn't mean I'm glad that you're also trapped. Why? Uh, why are you talking to me with such confidence? In the situation you're in, you shouldn't trust anyone. You're, you're right, but you don't seem like a bad person. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Wait! Did I say something wrong? Many fairy tale. Mmm. Oh. I was panicking. I was really panicking. Cause I, I I thought the game was gonna like when I got like one tile away from the save the save quill the bear was gonna burst through the door and grab me and give me a game over. It, I I almost wish it would have done that because that would have been the perfect troll. There's no bears. Hmm. All right, left time. Door is locked. Guess we're going up. There are many gifts under the Christmas tree. Ah, Christmas. This year, Santa brought a present for all the nice books. I wanted to open my gift, but I don't know which one is mine. I don't want to open a gift that isn't for me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Can you help me? My gift is the perfect compliment for a book like me. A green ribbon. Hang on. You look like you're green, I think, but you're in the dark. A fireplace decorated Christmas. Something's off about this gift. The gift laughed. Ah! Did I scare you? I didn't mean to. Or maybe I did? I'm hungry. It's been a long time since I've eaten anything. Please don't say that while you stare at me. Don't worry, I'm not interested in eating humans. Or maybe I am. Unless you want to find out, you better bring me something to eat. Don't worry, I'm not interested in eating humans, okay. I think it's time to go save again. Because I'm paranoid and terrified. You never know what could be lurking around the corner. Santa himself is probably going to kill me. If he sees me when I'm sleeping, God knows what he'll do to me when I'm awake. It's a fireplace decorated with Christmas decoration. I already checked that. What happens if I intentionally get the wrong gift? Let's try this. Open. What? Oh. I got turned into a doll. Opening that gift made a gift appear around me. This must be how, how Santa gets actually makes his gifts. I had a feeling that he wasn't gonna pull off those, with the labor, with the labor uh, people breathing down his neck. There was no way he actually had all those elves building them. I guess you're green. Let's try this one. Yes, I'm sure. Open it. No! <laughs> Doll thing. Ugh. Sorry to yawn, but sometimes I do. I mean, I am invested in what's going on here, but... 
Not really understanding the puzzle. My gift is the perfect compliment a book like me. Well, is there a color wheel nearby? What, go what goes good with green? Wait, no, you're a green book, so it would be the red gift, right? At least I think you're green. I can barely see, and I, I'm looking, I'm like, my face is right against my damn monitor when I'm trying to see you. God dang it. Game over. You're dead. You got turned into a toy. Forever neglected. Well, if the books can talk, I don't see why a doll couldn't either. I guess we're just gonna play the guess until I get it right, right game. I've already picked half of them. Ah! Boop. Thought for sure I had to figure it out. Well, there's only a couple left. Maybe all of them are wrong. Wait, wait just a damn minute. Look at this. What is this down here? Okay. Guess I can't interact with it. We shall check the middle. Yellow ribbon. Yellow is a good color. Nothing ever bad happens there. But there's a bookmark inside. Bookmark. What? Okay, does that mean I can't check the rest of them? I'm gonna open this one anyway, just to see. It's probably gonna kill me, but I know what the right one is now anyway. Yep. Confirmed. We've seen what all of them do. I do appreciate this game's level of detail. It's just dying in all sorts of different ways. It's quick to the point. I can get right back to it. And the game uh, text box just don't take hours to load. Bookmark inside. You got a bookmark. My gift is the perfect compliment to a book like me. Oh, the gift is a bookmark for the book. Okay, but how does that tell me which one? Wait, the note. Glasses, book. Oh, yellow bookmark. That's what it means. It's not that. I don't know. How would I know that's for the gifts, though? Like, yeah, it has colors, but lots of things have colors. I don't know. I'm kind of. I see the logic behind it, but eh. Well, it is your gift, but apparently I can just take it. You want a bookmark? No, we don't. I can't take anything else here, apparently. Well, the puzzle is solved. Oh, right, this doesn't lead anywhere. Can I go up the stairs now? Yeah, okay, I just had to see the cutscene with the boy, probably. I'm late, I'm late. I must hurry, I'll be late to the party. There's another save thing. Hello, Mr. Turtle. They say you can run by pressing shift, but what does that mean? Do you think someday I'll be able to win against a rabbit in a race? No, you won't. Oh. Look at me, I'm faster than you. Look, man, I'm not saying you have the power to, to win again, in against the race, but in the tortoise and the hare, you only won because the rabbit got fucking lazy. You, you weren't faster than him. Oh, crap. Am I going to get a bad ending now? I'm paranoid. I'm going to go back and reload the save. You hurt the turtle's feelings. You, could, you can now only get the worst ending. Yes, then I'll continue my training. Then I'll continue my training. Are you the owl from before? It's great to see you again. Not really. He doesn't really add anything. He's just an owl. I apologize to all the owls in the audience. But I just don't give a hoot about you. Gingerbread house. Chocolate bear. 
chocolate bear. The door is locked. It's made of freaking gingerbread. Eat your way in. And again, I suppose that's less reasonable than how, other, how they do it in other, other games. Like, you know what bugs me in a lot of survival horror games where it's like, oh, you need to go ha halfway across the map to find a key. It's, it's just like, shoot the hinges off the door. You got a shotgun, jackass. But uh, then, then it wouldn't really be a game. What happens if I go in here? This room is pitch black. I can't see anything. Maybe I just shouldn't go in. What happens if I do go in anyway? Okay, it's just gonna tell me, tell me no. Oh man, am I thirsty. It isn't here. Hey! He holds a gun at its side. They're gonna shoot me. They're gonna shoot me. I don't like being shot. And because I just said that said that sentence, my Twitter feed's gonna blow up. Damn it! Me and my big mouth. An illustration book for kids titled The Meaning of Flowers. Do you wanna read it? Which flower do you wanna read? Aster? Because its petals are star-shaped, these flowers were called asters. They symbolize tenderness because of how the goddess Asteri Asteria cried when she saw the stars in the sky were no longer there. When her te tears fell, asters flourished. Uh, sunflower? Apollo the sun god rode his golden carriage every day in the sky from east to west. Uh, Clyte? Silk? Sli I'm just gonna say Clyte. I'm probably, that's probably really wrong. A water nymph watched Apollo passing through the sky. One day she sat on a rock for nine days without water or food. She was devoted to observing Apollo. On the last day, she turned into a flower that was later called the sunflower. It, the sunflower watches the sun from dawn to dusk, signifying admiration. Interesting. Tell me more about flowers. The tulip. This is probably how I solved the puzzle. Although every color has a different meaning, there's a legend of the meaning of the red tulip. A prince named Farhad was in love with Shirin. When she died, he took his own life, unable to stand the suffering of watching his loved one perish. A tulip flourished from his blood, dyeing it red with the meaning of the perfect love. Yeah, I'd hardly call that perfect love. That sounds like a not unhappy love. Snowdrop. An ancient legend tells that after being expelled from the Garden of Eden, Eve cried because once autumn arrived, flowers withered away and only snow fell. An angel appeared, and to con console her, the angel turned some snowflakes into snowdrops. This is the reason why snowdrops became a symbol of hope, a proof of winter ending and spring about to come. Alright, my dad used to read me these bedtime stories when I was little. Many fairy tales on the shelf. There are many fairy tales. What am I looking for here is the issue. Many fairy tales, many fairy tales. Fairy tales, there's a ladder there. Many fairy tales. Nope, I guess I did it all. No door there. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna walk out and nobody's gonna shoot me. Thank you. There's a bear in the way. And the staircase that came down. The bears are watching. They're watching. They're out to get me. The cake paintings are very nice. That's cool. Shh! I didn't go to school because there's a test today and I didn't study. Don't tell anyone. That's cool. Really cool. Heh, I'm the best student in the entire library. My grades are perfect, just like me. 
Pardon me. Feeling a little gunky today. Do you want me to give you a hint about the test question? Sure. You should check the bookshelves in this room before you take the test. No. Will you let me copy your test? No. Oh man, I'm in trouble. I don't have any test. There's a book titled The Velveteen Rabbit, written by Marjorie Williams. There's a book titled The Ugly Ducking, Duckling, written by Hans Christian Andersen. Nice name. There's a book titled Little Red Riding Hood, written by Charles Peralt. There's a book titled The Red Shoes, written by Hans Christian Andersen. Well, it's gotta be easy for me to remember the stuff remembered by Christian Andersen. What were the other two again? Riding Hood by Charles Peralt. Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. Okay, let's do it. Go. Seems like we have a new student. You're lucky. We're about to have a test. I hope you studied. A test now? Let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. It was written by Marjorie Williams. Velveteen Rabbit. Charles Peralt. Which of the following wasn't written by Hans Christian Andersen? Uh... Wait a second. Wasn't it... Pinocchio? You fit, I'll do it now. You got 10 out of 10! A perfect... That's 3 out of 3, you liar. Why don't you visit the chocolate house? Why don't you visit the chocolate house? Wow. I failed. I passed. Actually, I randomly guessed on everything. Don't tell the teacher about this. I got a perfect score worthy of a book as perfect as I am. Didn't go to school. Cake paintings are very cute. Excellent. We're going to Chocolate Land. I'll continue my training. The door is locked. Use the sweet key. Um. The music stopped in here. Uh, oh no, it's just restarting. You want to press the switch? Okay, so I guess I gotta hit them in a... I have an idea here. Okay. Damn it. Two, three, four, five. Uh, six. Oh, I got it. Oh, I was I was worried. You got cookies. Wow. So what was the answer here? Wait a second. Stay away from me, bears. I think I know. The painting's on the wall over here. Yeah, that's the answer. Well, it's a good thing I just guessed and got it right. Okay, let's, let's look at what I got. The bookmark. That's what I got for the present. The note is kind of useless because I think it was just to get the bookmark puzzle. Cookies. Some chocolate cookies. They seem delicious. Now, where do I need to give cookies? Not to the gun wielding maniac, soldiers. What about this? Door is locked. Al from before. I guess it's time to go back downstairs. I don't even remember what was in these rooms. Did I do everything? Oh yeah, cookies. I can give it this thing. I'm not interested in eating humans. You want cookies? Do you want to give them the cookies? Yeah. What a good smell they give off. What? Did you want something in return? Young people are very capricious. Is that, is that how I say that word? Midamo. 
In exchange for these delicious, delicious cookies, I will give you some secret information. Do you see the fireplace next to me? If you search among the firewood, you will find a switch to open a hidden door. Heh heh heh. Examine. You found a little door. Open. I sell matches. Do you want one? They only cost one coin. You can use them to warm up in this cold night or to light up. Light up what? It's a shame you don't have any coins. It's a pretty white flower. Snowdrop. Well, at least that solves that. Okay. Well, I got one thing, and I need to go back to another. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Can I still examine these? Yeah, it's not. What happens if I talk to you again? Do you see the fireplace? That's cool, man. Talking presents are fun sometimes. Let's go back downstairs. I put the flower in that room. The bears are going to be hiding around. I just know it. Something's gonna happen. Wait, what? The vase is empty. You put the snowdrop in the vase? Yeah. Leave it. Help the others. Okay. So, I guess I still need to get the tulip, but... Oh, boy. I don't have a way to get through the... Uh, to get the tulip without dying, though. Maybe I have to physically use the bookmark in front of this guy. Show him the bookmark. Oh, God dang it, I thought I would have used it automatically. A bookmark, just what I wanted. Can you put it on me? Looks really good. It's a very pretty bookmark. Thank you, Aria. A bookmark is the perfect accessory for a book. How do you know my name? I don't remember telling you. All the books in this library know you. Mm, there are only gifts for books here, but I think you deserve one too. If you go to my secret base, you can keep this object that you like that you like the most. I keep all my treasures there. Really? Thank you. Use this map if you don't know where my secret base is. You obtained a map. Do you want to see the map? Yes. I know where this is. Down here. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave me alone. Any fairy tales on the bookshelf? Okay, now I can go up the ladder. I couldn't before. I think this is the book's secret base. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor. Is that me? Well, it's not creepy. You know, go to his secret base and see he has pictures of me on the wall. There are many things on the floor. There are many things on the floor. Now, this is just a closed book. Is this, is this an actual book or is it like the body of a companion? There's a tulip. It looks real, but it's fake. Well, I know, I know what to do with this. There are many things on the floor. Many things, many things, many things, many things. I didn't see any visible change. Let's... Okay, cool, they didn't try and shoot me. There goes a doll. But what does it mean? Alright. Hey! The doll has a horrifying smile on her face. Just gotta make a little save there. You should not smile at me. It's not cool. All right. Mm. The bears. 
They're in the photos. You wanna place the fake tulip? Yes, I do. I think we're gonna do something. Play with my expectations. Now let's see. I have all I have the tool up so I can go to the And I just heard a bump. Bumps are scary. Can I place the tool up? Yes I do. The door is opened. Someone has managed to open the door. Now I can leave and have my own adventures. G good for you, pal. Thank you for opening the door. The that book was eager to leave this room and encounter new places. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to thank you in this place. Do you know how I can return to my world? I do not know the answer, but I think there is someone who could help you. The Book of the Wizard of Oz. If you visit him, I am sure he will help you. You only need to walk the yellow brick road. The door that gives access to that road is closed, but I have the key to open it. If you answer my question correctly, I will recognize you deserve this key. Which flower means tenderness? Oh. Fuck. Uh, the Aster? That is correct. I did- oh, thank goodness. That's good and all, but I'm gonna go save before I- oh. The sunflower is withered. The aster is withered. Don't kill me, monkey. Before we do this, what happens in the- oh. A small teddy bear it has a knife in it now. What happens if I go in here now? All the dolls are gone. I'm alone. Where are the others? Can't say I know. This book is now free. Can't check it, though. Wait a second. Dolls or a fine smile, that's really cool. Well, we made a save. Let's go follow the yellow brick road, except not. This book, Little Prince, written by Antoine de Saint. I don't I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that, because I know I'm gonna get it wrong. Little Prince. Little Prince. All right, so I thought the door would be was right behind him, or them. It's it's a rose. I don't know what to call it. It, perhaps. I guess I go up here. Door is locked. Use a golden key. It's narrator Chan. The young girl, with a glimmer of hope in her eyes, advances across the yellow brick road. Will she succeed in leaving this world? Or will she perish trying? <laughs> Are you enjoying this wonderful library? Ah, narrator, there's something I need to tell you. I met a black-haired boy before. Do you know who he is? Hmm, that is impossible. It must be your imagination. You are the only one who should be here. Anyway, I must leave. We leave. We will cross paths once again. I'll see you later, you adorable little thing. <laughs> Although this could be the last time we see each other. Hee <laughs> hee. We'll see about that. I'm just gonna fix my seat and ugh, rotate these shoulders a bit. All right, let's get down to it. Give me keyboards. A little awkward placement there. Anyways, what do we got? Set of silver armor, scarecrow. 
Okay, so Scarecrow and Tin Man, got it. Where's the lion? Are you the Book of Wizard of Oz? A Wizard of Oz? Are you the young Arya? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Do you also know me? Why do all the books know me? Maybe it's because everyone hopes to be read by you someday. As you know, many of these books will never be read and will be forgotten. When a book is forgotten, it fades away. Someone so enthusiastic about books at your age is something admirable. Humans like you are those who give us hope and allow us to keep living. When a book is forgotten, it dies. Sorry, I must be blabbering. What is the reason for your visit? A red rose told me you could help me return to my world. I do not have the power to fulfill that wish, but I can help you in another way. Do you see the red box next to me? Open it and keep what is inside. I feel that it can be useful to you. I wish you good luck in your adventure. Thank you. Okay. It's probably, it's probably just going to be a coin. There are many coins inside. You obtained a gold coin. He said we could keep them all. What was inside? Not one, Arya. Be greedy. A type of money you've never seen before. Full of different versions of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, written by L. Frank Baum. The Tin Man is gone! I need to be afraid of that. I should be more afraid of the, the, the lion that's gone, though. Okay, nothing happened. The fireplace is up here. There's a little door, open it. I sell matches, do you want one? Just take it, bye. It's the first time I've sold a box. You obtained a box of matches, thank you. Oh, there's a book on the ground. Called the Little Match Girl. I don't know about that story. But its title relates. When he gives him the Christmas tree. That's cool. Alright, so I have a box of matches, but... God, I've saved so many times this episode. I don't want to just randomly die. Can be used to light up dark places. There we go. I thought I was going to have to use that to, like, find, light a lantern or something, but no, I can just go straight to the dark room then. I saw something up there. And this room is pitch black. Strike a match. Bunnies! Oh, she even, she, she even has her hand out because she's holding the match. That's cute. There are different versions of the same book, so even if we come from the same book, not all rabbits are the same. So many rabbits, I want to chat with all of them. Though if we all come from the same book, there won't be many things to talk about. Wait, you're not a rabbit. Then what are you doing here? Don't show invitation. I think it's better for you to leave. You received an invitation? How strange. Okay. Bookshelf is full of different versions of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, written by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, there's like a million different versions of Alice in Wonderland. I've managed to arrive on time to the party. All rabbits from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland's books received an invitation for the big party, but it seems it hasn't started yet. What are you doing here? You don't look like a rabbit. Don't show. I think you should leave. Okay, cool. Oh, maybe it was a mistake. Okay, there's a book here. Alice always chases the rabbit. Aria, why don't we change the story a bit? Wouldn't be the first. <gasps> Aye, ah, it's you, the bunny ghost. The fire blew out. I gotta get out of here. Ah. Ah. What the hell, man? What the hell, man? The tortoise got in the way. There's going to be some trial and error, isn't it? Okay, so maybe that locked door... Oh, shit. I should save upstairs. I'm going to have to talk to those rabbit wabbits again. Maybe I got to go up here. 
It's locked, so maybe it'll open when I do that. What happens if I go to the south? Maybe it'll just be locked. Because this was this was locked. That's all I can think of. Just going to the chocolate house won't work. Oh, this is gonna be annoying to redo. I couldn't just put a save quill in here. Waskly bunny wabbits. Come on, run! It's open! Okay. Uh, that was happening on someone. What happened? You, you're the boy from before! What did you do? Oh, he threw like a sword in it. Thank you so much for saving me. That rabbit was chasing me. I didn't know what to do. Huh? Eh? Also, your hair isn't black, it's brown. I knew you were a good person. No, I was aiming at you. Oh, <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? It's funny because he was actually trying to kill me, but he's probably not gonna kill me right now. You're trapped in here too, aren't you? Why don't we go together? If my hand wasn't in this state, I could have hit the right target. Oh, it was the perfect opportunity. Why just kill her right now then, Jesus? Everything else seems to have an easy time doing it. It would be safer if we went together, I think. Hmm. hmm. All right, I'll go with you. I'm sure both of us can find a way out. If I go with her, I'll surely find an opportunity. What opportunity? There's no witnesses around. What is your name? Mine is Arya. Lewin. Lewin? Is there anything? Is there something wrong? Am I saying it right? Lewin? I'm going to keep saying Lewin. Nice to meet you, Lewin. Nice to meet you, too. It's better if we keep moving. That thing could move at any moment. Neat. Lewin has joined the party. I gotta say, though, I'm having a... Are you an idiot? Don't get close to that. I'm sorry. I guess we move on. Here's a quill. I'm having a blast with this game so far. I'm liking it more and more as I play. It's not... Well, you know what? I, I've... It's one of those games where... How do I how do I explain this? I think it's pretty good. Like, I don't know, but like, God, here's the thing. Like, I want I want to I can't really. It's not really fair to compare it to other other th some other things that I keep wanting to compare it to. But I think I think it's just it's just pretty good so far. Let's just stick with that. I'm not gonna. No reason for me to get overly make some long over overly big analysis that's not the time for that i'd have to, i'd really i think honestly i'd have to think about how to put to words how i feel about this game but right now i'll just be a scrum and say like it's cool i like it it's a really cool game chapter three romance Ooh, i just got a boy with me and we're going to the romance section is it gonna have dirty scenes i hope not because i like this channel being being a yeah being alive and i don't want youtube to kill it Oh, I lost all the things I collected. Maybe you lost them while that thing was chasing you. Your items are gone, Arya. Elegant sculpture of a book. A sculpture of a book? Well, let's look around here. This door opens up. The girl was no longer wandering alone through the library. A dark-haired boy was beside her. So it was true. There is someone else in this library. I must say that I am surprised I did not know about this. However, it is a pleasant surprise. A new character can contrib contribute many things to the story. Don't you agree, Lewin? You knew his name? You know, you know Lewin? Of course. What kind of narrator would I be if I did not know the names of the characters? Duh. My name is Narrator. My duty is to narrate what happens to Arya. Huh? Narrate? Mm. My duty is to narrate what Arya does, but should I also narrate what happens to you, or are you not important? It would be better if I consult him about it. Okay. She said weird things before leaving again. Do you know her? I barely know her. I saw her for the first time in this library. All I know is that she narrates everything I do. Narrate what you do? Why? I wish I knew. She usually doesn't answer my questions. Mm. Hmm... 
Anyway, standing here won't help get us out. Yeah, won't help us get out of here. <laughs> yep, you're right. What do we have? An elegant fountain with crisp water. There are, there are various spe special doors that are closed, but I can give you clues how to open them. What you want to know? Um, eclipse door. The eclipse door cannot be open. Can be open when the sun and moon unite. Cup of tea. Sun door. Sun door will be opened when the moon disappears. Moon door. The moon door will be open when the stars appear. What do we have in this room? Ah, the statue is so well made, it seems like it'll come to life at any moment. Are you sure it's a good idea to say that in the situation we're in? Okay. You never know. Very gorgeous statue. Just barely walk around it there. The Tree of Wisdom is thirsty. It's a shame that he only likes water. I could have offered him my cup of tea. A very gorgeous statue. This one's very, not just regular gorgeous. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Okay, I can go up here. Crisp water, I might need to collect that water. Music's nice. The Tree of Wisdom. Look, Lewin, there's books spouting from this tree. Well, books exist thanks to trees. Then we can say that books are born from trees. Yeah, I think that's the idea this tree represents. No, give me that, don't give me that sappy crap. Kinda loud in here. That's just a regular tree. Tree of average intelligence, as it were. Average intelligence. And what do we have? The door is locked. All right. Well, what about the window? Nope, can't do anything there. What about over here? Nothing. I guess I, like, all I can do is go backwards now. There's clearly another section I didn't explore. But Narrator Chan's appearance means I had to do something. Oh, there's nothing up here but this. There are many romance books. The atmosphere changed. This must be a new area. Seems so. This reminds me. How did you end up in this library? I fell asleep, and when I woke up, I was in here. That's pretty much what happened to me, too. Come on, Lewin. Maybe there's an exit over here, and we can go back to our world. Let's keep looking. Many romance books. All right. I can't go back. This hallway was useless, then. I didn't... I thought the way to go was up those little set of stairs, but... Um, let's think, let's think, let's think. Stars will unite. Can I go through? Oh, okay, I can go like this. Oh, there's doors here, I see. What do we have? Quill. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Moon door is open. Anything of note? There are many romance books on the shelf. Many romance books. Go in here. And this, there's a book titled Fashion and Colors. Have you ever thought about using complementary colors in your outfit? Complementary colors are colors that have opposite positions in the chromatic circle. Because these colors are opposites, they produce the strongest contrast compared to other colors. These colors are yellow and purple, red and green, blue and orange. Now, and, and a, a fun way to help remember your uh, complementary colors, folks, is uh, is to think video game characters. Yellow and purple is Wario's outfit, red and green is the Mario Brothers, and blue and orange is Sonic and Tails. That's, the, that's kind of the reason why they did do things like that. Fun facts. Wearing this combination of colors in your outfit may seem risky, but when done correctly, you can get interesting results. Beautiful dress. That's the inside of the showcase, red and white. I need to come back here with something different, maybe. Get on out of here, Arya. Hey! What was that? Why is this thing next to me? Everything's bloody! The showcase is covered in blood. Showcase is covered in blood. The showcase is covered in blood. The showcase has been broken. There's a dress on the loose. 
And it's not wearing complimentary colors. This was not here before. I'm, I'm not crazy, am I? Door's locked. Neat! What's over here now? What are you doing? Books don't deserve to be covered in dust, so I'm cleaning the dust off the bookshelves. We shouldn't waste time on this. Yeah. Many romance books. Many romance books. Many romance books. Many romance books everywhere we look. This is a storage room. Wooden bucket. Take the wooden bucket. Many romance books. Cinderella by Charles Perrault. Page of this book is marked. Read! And when the clock strikes 12, the spell will be broken. Okay. Good to know. Um, that's what we need to know. I got a bucket. I can get water from the fountain and we use it on the Tree of Wisdom, but let's keep looking around here. Hey, Quill. 50 saves. Yes. There's something bad gonna happen in this room. Just watch. Violin is playing a song. Um, clock doesn't have hands. I want to learn how to play the violin, but I don't have hands. Yeah, you're not the only one. Hmm. The violin is playing a song. The violin is playing a song. I don't have... I just have the bucket. So I need to make it strike 12, I suppose? Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do here. Let's run and hope I don't die a horrible death. Wait a second, I should go back, out, back up here. What is this now? It's a table. I always have trouble reaching the books on bookshelves. I wish I was taller. You understand how I feel, right? Yeah, I do. Hey, are you saying I'm short? Don't worry, being short has some advantages. We can reach book th books that are closer to the floor. I don't think he cares for your... Your, your constant mention of books, Arya. Moon door. The door is locked. Well, it, I thought this was... Alright. Well, we got a bucket. We're gonna go see the tree. Fill the fountain. Uh, uh. You wanna fill the bucket of water? Yes, I do. Now we go take it to the Tree of Wisdom. you want to offer the wooden bucket to the tree? A book has fallen from the tree. Do you want to take it? You've obtained a red book. A book whose cover is an intense red. I can't read it, apparently. I guess we'll go over to the left? I guess this is the big item I need. We're on the next section, apparently. Sun door. Door is locked. Let's look around here. Fireplace, nothing unusual. A bust, feels like you're being watched. A book with an orange cover. Can you tell me which book I would get along with? I need to think about it. Don't worry, take all the time you need. Book with yellow cover. Orange. It's obviously red. I told you the easy way to remember it. Okay, so the trick here is... is to give him the red book, but... what happens if I get it wrong? Do you think so? The green and tongue and yellow book, it seems like they don't click with each other. Saying, I am sorry. Do you want to leave? Don't leave. Ow, man. I got whacked on the head with that busty boy. Alright, I just wanted to see how I can die. Forgive me for my morbid curiosity. Okay, so yeah, the trick is to have the red book and use it here. That's kind of a clever puzzle. Do you think this book will be a good match for me? Yes! 
because it's complimentary. I actually like this puzzle, it's good. Seems like they've clicked. Seems like they've clicked. Well done, Arya. Do you want to leave? Leave. Yay, a key fell. Ouch, what was that? Key on the floor. Rainbow key. The magic happens with the rainbows. Painting of an apple. What does this tell us? If you came here for my painting class, you will have to come back later. Painting class is in the library? That's right, miss. Some books have illustrations on their covers and their pages, right? Learning more about it allows us to know more things about ourselves. I see. Illustrations are also a part of books. Wow. Riveting. Doesn't seem there's anything here. Made of an apple. Not really seeing the romance of this part. There are many art books on the bookshelf. Many art books. I guess that's fine. Now, what else is there to find around here? There are many romance books. That's locked. So let's see. I've got a rainbow key. What does the rainbow key let me do? Um, there was a door up top here, wasn't there? That's the eclipse door, right. And the question is, how do I make stuff happen? Very colorful key. Must have been on this side that there was another door I could unlock, right? Not the moon door, but... Seems like it's nighttime, but alright. This area is locked. Right, the clock. That's where that's what that's for. But door is locked. Ah, uh, okay. That must be a glitch. Well, I certainly can't use the rainbow key on myself. The question is, where do I use it? Was there something up there? Okay, it's just the moon thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, think. I'm sure I probably missed it. I'm just quickly forgetting, but let's take a quick look over here anyway. When the clock strikes 12, the spell will be broken. Ah, uh, think, think, think. I like the music for this place, though. It is good. Very colorful key, but where do I use it? I feel like I'm overlooking something incredibly obvious right now. No, I don't need to read the fashion book anymore. What even happened there? I'm not even sure. Hmm. Perhaps I need to... Not the statue. The Tree of Wisdom is thirsty. I use the bucket to get in there, but... Darn it. It's not gonna work, but nah, you know. I can't even use it in any way. What about the regular tree? Can't do anything with the regular tree at all. <sighs> Darn it. I must have missed something over here. That's the only answer. Door is locked. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Sheets. Was there a riddle? Many romance books on the shelf. 
Like, this is called the romance section, or romance chapter, but so far it's just been rainbow puzzles. With colors. Not really romantic, is it? That thing... Oh, okay. There's a clock there. I see. Okay. This reminds me of the mirror in Ebe. That's cute. There is a message. A minus R plus I X A equals oh. Aria? That's what it says. Nothing happened. What does that mean? There's a clock on the wall. It seems it doesn't work, although its hands are shiny. You want to take the hands. Hands of a clock. Uh-oh. Mirror's been broken. They di we didn't make a second picture of the clock not in the shot, so... Or the hands missing, so... Uh, what did these letters represent? I have no idea. Did they be part of the color? The yellow and blue one are a bit different there. You got your... The red or red, uh, yellow and indigo one, rather. Is it... It can't mean the... My light just flickered, that pissed me off. I don't know, I really have no idea. There's nothing I can do with it for now. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, 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 run, shift. Hmm, ah. ah, Don't do that. Must have been broken. Goddamn ghost just like throwing stuff over. It's the oldest trick in the book. I got clock hands now, so yeah, I should probably save, because I have a feeling something bad will happen in here. Doesn't have hands. I have hands of a clock! Do you want to place the clock hands? It's too high. I wish I, we were taller. Lewin, get on my shoulders. Teamwork! No, just use a chair or stool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Which direction do you want to place the hands? What? Um, I don't know. Uh, west? Nothing happened. North? No, it meant, oh, it meant turn both, both that way. So when I put them north, it meant midnight. The clock is working again. Everything turned into a pumpkin. That was a little vague. What happened? The spell wore off at midnight. That's what happened. A pumpkin. Did anything really happen, though? Wait. Wait, no, it's midnight. That means the moon door is open, right? Clock is working, but I can't change it. So I guess I can go through the moon door. Moon door now. Pumpkin. Was there other stuff here before? Hi, narrator Chan. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you both here. What do you think about What do you think about your stay in this library? Don't you narrate what we're doing? I do not know if I should narrate what happens to Lewin, so I prefer not to do it. I was going to consult him about it, but I wanted to read some books and entertain myself a little. Unfortunately, I had forgotten that I cannot read books. A real shame. You can't read? Books? Don't worry. Lewin and I will teach- Lewin and I will teach you how to read. We don't have time for that. I guess you're right. Hmm, I see. I think this is a misunderstanding. You do not need to teach me how to read. I know how to do it. Then why can't you read? I cannot answer your question. I'm just a narrator. I should not tell you things about myself. Also, you should not waste your time with me. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Uh, you should not waste your time with me. You have more important things to do. But you're adorable! Anyways, night time. Let's go to the safe thing. Yeah, 
There we go. In my opinion, ballet is one of the most elegant dances. That's really great. Odette, the white swan. Odile, the black swan. It's not a black swan, though. A beautiful painting of a moon. White swan. I don't have any items, though. I can't really do anything here. This is a bit of a pickle. Oh, it's the dress! I hate when I have to wander around to find something what to do. The dress is going to kill me! Many romance books. Many romance books. Romance books. Romance books. Let me take it, take it. Oh, this one's shiny. Romance books. There's a book called Secret Code. See picture. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to write this down. Hang on, let me just open the note feature on my phone. Where is the damn thing? There it. Ugh, I hit the wrong one. Grab it. Technology, I hate you. Let's see now. A equals 25. B equals... And don't tell me to just take a screenshot. I can't... That might mess up the recording with the way I have things set up. I'm not gonna... Uh, I just need the letters for Aria and I think X as well. Wait a second. It's counting backwards. Z is 0 and A is 25. So I can easily or figure it out from there myself, but just, uh, let me just write down the letters for Aria. R is 8. I is 17. And X is 2. Let me just set that right there. There are many romance books. Read. A long time ago, it was common for lovers to exchange their thoughts with a secret code that only they knew. This allowed them to be able to communicate freely without fear of anyone discovering their true feelings. There are many other variations, but the most common one was to use symbols or numbers to replace the letters. This dress wasn't here before. What happened to these flowers? Ugh. Please don't follow me. Yeah. To the secret code. It was all the way over to the left, the far, far left, the rainbow bedroom. Yeah, there's nothing very romantic about this place at all. Don't do any funny stuff to me, game. There's a message in this box. A minus R, 25 minus 8, 17, plus I is also 17, so we're looking at 34, times 34 times 25 is uh, too much, too much thought. Let me get the damn calculator. 34 times 25, where the fuck's the calculator app? I hate my, ugh. 4 times 25 equals 850. The answer is 850. Screw that basic math stuff. We have technology. Nothing happened. Aria, multiplying goes before adding and subtracting. Oops, I'm not very good at math. Go oh, fuck yourself, Lewin. It's not in brackets. Screw you. Yeah. All right, fine then. Hang on a second. Oh, fuck, I need to bring up the damn menu again. <laughs> well, I'm a shilly dumbo. I don't know math off the top of my... I don't want to do math off the top of my head. That means I'm stupid. Let's see here. I times A. 17. Wait, wait, what? 
17 by f look I get I'm gonna tell you let me just tell y'all right now I barely give half a crap about math puzzles I'm not being slow because I'm because I'm a slow person I kind of just don't care 17 times 25 425 okay which means let me open the fucking notepad because I have a short-term memory 425 I swear to god I have the I hate phone interfaces nowadays so I didn't need X like a fucking dumbo let's see a minus R 17 plus 425 is 32 442 if I if I did that half-assed math in my head right there we go Welcome to welcome to not giving a crap about math with Picasbury. There is an apple inside. You obtain an apple. Um. Okay. I think there was a dude at paint and stuff that wanted an apple. You got an apple, man. You have to come back later. Well, you want to place the apple? Yeah. Did you place a new apple? Thank you. The previous apple rotted and I couldn't find a new one, so I had to cancel my painting classes. Are you interested in painting? I'll give you this so that you can practice. You obtained black paint. Well, I know what to do with that. It's all coming together. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Every time I walk through a hall, I'm, I'm desperately thinking, please don't kill me. I can't go through the sun door now, can I? If my lights in my room could stop flickering, that would be fantastic. All right. Where can we find... Can we please? In the moon door? Only the black swan. Black paint. Yes, use the black paint. There's a key. Has this painting always been like this? I thought it was a moon before. The picture of the moon has disappeared and a key has appeared in its place. Do you want to take the key? You obtain the lunar key. What happened? Did I hear I heard another another noise somewhere. My opinion, ballet is one of the most elegant dances. I got the lunar key, but what does it mean? Okay. Door is locked. I know it's not gonna, oh yeah, I know I can't use that at all like that. Were there, are there even any more locked doors that I can look at? It has to be used over here, maybe. Yep, I don't know. Dress ruined those flowers over there, so we don't need to bug her. Um, back over here, perhaps. You don't waste your time with me. Can I change this again? No, oh, no, stop it. Clock is working again. Key with a moon design. I found it inside the room that you'd think you'd use it on, but... Not like it. I've opened everything I can on this side. So, the sun... Wait a second, I got rid of the moon on the painting. So does that mean the moon key opens the sun door? I don't know, that sounds like that sounds like enough of, enough of a stretch to work. Hopefully it does. This is Mona Lisa and stuff. Yep. It's open. Hey, everybody. You have a thing in your hand. 
blue statue. The orange statue and yellow statue tell the truth. Oh, not one of these. Could you tell me who is the most beautiful statue in this room? Be careful, despite their appearance, they are all liars. No. What about you? Beautiful painting of a sun. I need to get rid of the sun, and the eclipse door will open. I'm the most beautiful red statue. Or, what? No, she doesn't say red. Okay, it's time to time to get my Professor Layton going on here. Let's, let's use let's let's show my deductive abilities. They're probably gonna be as stellar as my math abilities. I'm the most beautiful statue. You're okay. So if you're lying, then therefore you are completely irrelevant to this puzzle. The blue statue is the most beautiful. So you're a liar. You're lying then. So the blue one is also taken out. The orange statue and the yellow statue tell the truth. Well, no, they're all liars. So the blue and red are completely irrelevant now. Remove them. The most beautiful statue in this room is the purple one. Okay, so the purple is now erased. We're down to half. The green statue is the most beautiful. That is the truth. Therefore, that's four gone. I am the most beautiful. Trust me, I am not a liar. All right, therefore, the yellow one is, is the correct answer. But, I'm probably gonna die if I get it wrong, so let's, let's just save to see what happens. Look at how many goddamn saves I made. Too many. Too, too many. Yes, the green statue. Ouch, she thrown me out of the room. Okay, so you can just randomly guess it? Okay, well, I don't know if there's a, a, a different hidden penalty, so I may as well just load since I already deduced the right answer. Yellow. Could you tell me the most beautiful statue? It's the yellow. What? The statue was laughing. 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 Now I am the most beautiful statue. Oh. It was one of those puzzles, isn't it? Picture of the sun has disappeared and the key is in its place. The solar key. There's something shining inside my pocket. The lunar key and solar key have fused together. The eclipse key. Well, I didn't use the solar key for... There's nothing in the painting. Did I just see something there? I think I did. Am I crazy? Alright, we're done with those. Let's just go. To the top... To the top floor. The door is locked. Use eclipse key. Yes! I think we've just completed another area. Can I ask you something? Hmm? Hmm? What happened to your hand? It's bandaged. Does it hurt? This, it's not important. <laughs> Even if it's not important, I'd like to know about it. <sighs> I guess you'll keep asking till I tell you. Fine, I'll tell you. What happened? I know that I probably don't look like it, but I'm actually a writer. A writer? Don't be so excited, I'm not famous. It doesn't matter. I admire every writer. They're the creators of the books I love so much. I never thought I'd meet a writer. <sighs> I already told you not to be excited. Don't make a big deal about it. As I was saying, I was writing a book, but I couldn't think of a good ending. No matter what I wrote, it wasn't the ending I was looking for. I was so obsessed with that book that I neglected my health. I forced my hand too much and I ended up having to wear this bandage. I won't be able to write anymore until my hand recovers. <laughs> Maybe you could think of a good ending while you recover. But I hope you won't do the same thing when you recover. You shouldn't neglect your health. I know, I won't do it again. Can I ask when you started writing books? Since I was very young, but, but I was a kid. Nobody wants to read a book written by some kid. I'd read them. What did you say? I'd read your books, and I'm not saying that to make you feel better. I mean it. Yeah, I know. You smiled. I thought you couldn't do it. Huh. That was your imagination. 
Wait, don't leave me alone here. Looks like we're about to head to the next area, I'd imagine. If there's anything left. No, I'm looking for a save point before we wander around more. There's gotta be one reasonably- there's one. Alright, we've been going for quite a bit. I think that's about enough for now. I hope you're all enjoying this. I'm having a blast with this game. Um, I really do like it. Um, I'm feeling like I'm enjoying it more as it goes on. Its puzzles are... I, I think I, I think I like the puzzles in the last little... Like, the I've seen in like the last 40 minutes or so, much more than the beginning. Um, a lot of you have been telling me that, that this is a good game and you were pretty excited to see me play it, so I'm ex excited to see how it ends soon. Hopefully there's no convoluted true ending bullcrap where I gotta start all over because you know how much I love doing that and unfortunately I'm going to have to do that. But anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Have a good night. Bye bye